Hey lovers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Zipro again. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're highly welcome. And if I return a subscriber, you already know I love you with the whole of my heart. Thank you so much for always stopping by. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to tie this latest Instagram daily. You must have been seeing it around and that is why i brought you this tutorial all right you know i always do that for you new trending gillies you know i always bring them for you stay tuned guys all right guys let's get started so i'm using this ashoke fabric it is 90 inches long and it has five joinings in it and the measurement i'm using is 50 50. And as you can see, I started from the back of her neck. So I started with four plates. And right now I'm tracing those plates from the back to the front. All right. I'm tracing each of the plates, ensuring they are not too close and they are not far apart. All right. This is very essential. Laying your plates neatly is very essential when you're tying your ghillie. Alright, so do ensure your pleats are neatly done because at the end of the day, that's what will give your ghillie a very neat finish. Alright, so I'm um, ensuring the pleats are neatly laid and properly done at the same time. So after, tr after tracing all the pleats, I will make someone hold on to it for me. Then I will go on to the other flap and I will do the same thing. I will trace the pleats from the back and trace them to the front. Guys, when you are tying your gilly, do ensure from the beginning it is neatly done. I can't emphasize this enough. When you see nice, nicely tied gilly, gegen gilly, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? it is the the job is from the beginning all right it's not just at the end of the gilly so you have to you have to be very sure you have to be very um patient or very i don't know that word but you have to ensure your gilly is neat from the onset so right now i'm done with tracing the pleats on both flaps so right now i'm going to go ahead and cross the two flap i will hold them together as if i want to tie it but please guys note i am not tying the two flaps together i'm only twisting them together i'm twisting the two flaps together as you are going to see can you see guys that's what i'm doing i'm just twisting them so that they are um they are they are pardon me so that the gilly is firm enough guys so right now i'm going to secure that part with pin to ensure the gilly is firm if your gilly is not firm you already know that is i don't know you know that it's going to be a disaster because you don't want your bride to start dancing at the party and the gilly will fall off <laughs> god forbid you know that's going to be a disaster right so please do avoid that when you're tying your gilly ensure your gilly is firm enough always firm and neatly done i can't emphasize that enough so right now guys i'm working on the first flap and what i'm doing is forming new pleats and after for i formed three pleats just now so next i'm going to be forming the side fan as you know that this gilly is is um it, the side is like pinnacle style all right and it has fan on the side so right now i'm trying to form the fan on the side guys they already um i'm sorry i said already they usually refer to this gilly i mean any gilly that has this side this side fans as pinnacle but i want you to know that it is also known as 
bridal fan. So if anybody comes to you and say they want bridal fan gilly, this is it. All right. Just so you know if you did not know. All right, guys. So I'm forming the side fan right now. And I would, after forming it, I would secure it with a pin and I would go ahead to the back to secure the entire flap. All right. You're going to see how I will do that. So I'll secure with a pin at that point. Then I'll go ahead to twist in the remaining, excuse me, to twist the remaining part of the flap and secure it with pins. And I ensure this is firm, firm enough so that it can't fall off easily. So, after this, guys, I'm going to go ahead to the other flap and do the same thing that I just did. All right? But before I go to the other flap, I'm going to do the finishing of this side. You know, I always love to do my finishing, the finishing of my gilly, because that's what gives your gilly the beautiful outcome. That's what would um, bring out all the beauty of the gilly, the well arranging, everything that you started with. Finishing too is very essential. That's what will give you a gilly. That's beautiful look. Right now I'm working on the other flap and I'm going to ensure it is well placed. You know there are, you know there are pleats initially. I mean, on the base of the gilly. So I'm going to, I'm securing this part so that, so that. Pardon me, guys. I'm securing this part so that it is firm and it won't be opening. So right now I'm forming new pleats and I'm ensuring that it is aligned with the set of pleats at the base if you get what i'm saying the pleats i'm forming now i'm making them align with the pleats at the base if that make any sense guys if it makes any sense so after forming those pleats i'm going to go ahead to start forming my fan and we're going to see how i would do that just like i did on the other side so watch closely guys by the way like i said this gale style is a new style that is just trending on the ground so guys i'm going to be bringing you new trending styles so you don't want to miss it you don't want to miss it or do you want to mess it? You don't want to mess it. So, for you not to miss all those juicy styles, please subscribe to my channel. And press the bell button, the bell icon beside the subscribe button. That's what will make you, that's what will ensure you get notification every single time I upload a new video. A new daily tutorial like this. I always upload to, i always upload videos on thursdays and sundays so guys do well to always check back on my channel on those days for new gilly styles and for other juicy videos all right please subscribe if you haven't please subscribe if you haven't it is absolutely free like a youtuber friend will always say it is absolutely free youtube is not going to charge you and i'm not going to charge you either please subscribe to my channel support your girl it is a way of showing me love of showing me support please support your girl so that we can move this ministry forward all right that being said i'm going to be doing the finishing of this gilly and you're going to see how it looks at the end of the day so guys this 
this shoot was done in collaboration with some other vendors which include the makeup artist i'm going to leave a name on the screen and the ashoke vendor i mean the ashoke the person that tailored the ashoke so i'm going to leave a name too on the screen please check them out on instagram guys this is the finished look i hope you love it what do you think let me know what you think in the comment section leave me a comment in the comment section and if you have a question too please leave it for me guys my happy bride is dancing for you <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching i love you i was and i'll see you in my next video bye -ya.